So creativity. I mean, the five C's we we crush in a class like this, and in this kind of a this kind of a program. The five C's are built in from step one. I would describe this pathway as an opportunity for people who like to build, create, innovate, invent, basically do things that nobody's ever done before. For coders, engineers, um, basically people who want to change the world. We're learning how to computer program, which is very important in today's age because that is one of like the top paying jobs and also the things that are replacing people in jobs are computers and we are the ones that make them and create them and program them. Kids who do this are um, eager, they're interested in what we do, they're just excited to be here, they're excited to do what we're doing um, and they're excited to learn something that they can use that's really valuable. Anybody who's ever had to build something that they've never built before is going to be forced to be creative. The cool thing about what we do is there's oftentimes not direct instruction. We try very hard not to show you exactly what to do. We want to leave you like a trail of breadcrumbs to follow, but we don't want to put them too close together and we don't want to give you too much because if we tell you everything, you're, you're not going to learn and you're not going to be forced to solve problems and think outside the box. With computer programming, it's not just you learn the same thing and you do the same thing every day. It's always building, you're always learning more, you're always figuring out more, and it's never just I've reached a point. Look at the world around you. It's exploding with new apps, new ideas that are all built on technology. Look at the engineering that happens in the world. People build new things all the time, and that is impossible. All those things are impossible without creativity. This year I'm teaching math, and then I'm teaching a class that we call Design Tech. So we spend a lot of time building community and just helping kids feel comfortable with who they are and recognizing and pulling out the things that they have in them already and just honoring those things. So then it's about giving some guidelines that, that says, okay, so I want you to do something in this space, but now play with it. A right answer is not always or even usually the first answer. And there's flexibility in our timing and then there's also ideas where we're just doing that design thinking, that iteration over and over and over again to improve ourselves until we go, yeah, like I'm cool with that. That's something I never thought I could do before. I really don't have a lot of creativity in me, but I feel like this class does make me bring it out. Since I have this class, I needed to get more open-minded about things. One of the coolest things that I think happens in this class is when somebody figures it out and then you see them working together and coaching each other up and then improving each other and they stop relying on me to be the expert and they start seeing each other as the experts. She doesn't give us a specific template because she wants us to make it with like our imagination. Kids need to know how to create something to solve some sort of a new complex dilemma because let's be real, in today's world, our dilemmas are not simple. They can now be the computer programmers. They can be the people who are now becoming innovators and in solving these complex problems in ways that are good, not just for themselves, but for society.